Hey Pisces, welcome to July. This month we are going to look at the theme for the month, um, where you should be focusing your energy, what are the challenges this month, and there might be some just because we're about to enter a Mercury retrograde, what it is that you need to release, which is pretty much what comes up in that sort of energy, and then we're going to look at money and career. Um, just because in the Facebook page, that's what most of you had voted for as your biggest concern for the month of July, what you wanted me to focus in on, and then we'll look at your love life, whether you're single, coupled, or in an undefined relationship, which might be it's not Facebook official, it's on again, off again, maybe it's polyamorous, okay? So Pisces... Your main theme for the month is shifting perspective, looking at things from a different lens or viewpoint, seeing it from a different angle. Where should you be focusing your energy? And they say, not so much on your intuition or spirituality, actually. They say, we want to be looking at areas in which um, maybe we haven't been completely honest with ourselves or with other people. The big challenges this month are um, endings, letting things go. Uh, and so, I mean... For example, if you had, had just had a breakup, instead of being really, really sad about it, you might look at this as, you know what, if this relationship was for me, it wouldn't have ended. So this is actually a really good thing because that means that I am now available to find the right relationship for me. It's changing our perspective and viewing things from um, a different lens. You know, like we might have been lying to ourselves before saying like, hey, you know what, if I change ABC about me, then maybe this relationship will work. And it's like, well, you shouldn't have to change who you are. Like the right person is, um, you can't say the wrong thing or act the wrong way with the right person, right? So that's the energy for you. And it doesn't necessarily have to do with relationships. That's just one example of how this might be working. So what is it that you need to release? Um, and I know that I kind of mentioned that already, but they say definitely things from the past that we view with a lot of nostalgia or love, we might be only, we might be giving it like a rose colored lens, you know, um, and that could be family relationships too. You know, maybe I really have happy, happy memories, um, you know, with my dad, but you know, he was a parent sometimes and sometimes he wasn't and I need to be real honest with myself about how that might have fucked me up a little moving forward. Um, stuff like that. Okay. Now, what is going on in your money or in your career? And they say, this month things are going to kind of just balance out the way that they should. Um, they say, you're, if you haven't been financially stable, this is a month where everything kind of just mellows out and you create good routines for yourself, good work-life balance. Um, you might be finding that you're better at budgeting and things like that. In regards to your love life, if you're single, um, they're saying this is the month where you go from, okay, whatever it was I was holding on to before, that shift in perspective, I'm now moving towards something better for me, something that'll give me a, like, a lot more emotional fulfillment. Now, we might have had relationships in the past that we clung to for a long time. Maybe they ended a long time ago, but we still couldn't like really release that or let go of that relationship because we put so much in there and we really, really cared about the person and you know, we really invested a lot of ourselves in it. But they're saying there's something better and this is the month that we let that go and we move forward towards it. Some people tend to feel like if um, I am not continuing to be sad and I'm not continuing to like hold on to that past, then I'm not doing it justice for the amount of effort or work or love that I put into it. And that's just not the case. We don't continue to throw money into an investment that continues to not pay off for us, right? And so um, that's what we're doing is we're investing our energy and our love into something that doesn't even exist anymore. So it's time to move forward and feel really, really good about that and looking forward to what is new and better for us. For those of you who are coupled, they're saying um, big, fast changes and surprises might be coming up for you. Uh, and this could be, for some of you, breakups. But for others of you, like breakups that lead to like new and better relationships. But for others of you, this is just like letting go of you know, resentments or anger or things within the relationship so that it is renewed and it becomes something new and better, more beautiful for you. For those of you in undefined relationships, um, you might be 
feeling a little bit defensive, like you might have to defend your lifestyle choice, for example, if you were in a polyamorous relationship, or you might feel like the you might have to defend some of your choices when an on-again, off-again relationship, things like that. They're saying um, this will seemingly come out of nowhere. Like you are all of a sudden like, whoa, what the fudge? Why are you attacking me or questioning what I'm doing? And it's not really anything that you can control or anything that you would anticipate. They say the best thing for you to do in these type of situations is to very passionately um, – kind of just do what you want to do anyway. What other people think about you or their opinions really is none of your business. Like, it should not stop you from living your best life. You need to be doing what is fun or exciting for yourself unapologetically. If other people can't deal with that, then they don't need to share their opinion with you or they don't need to be in your life. You know, so for example, in an on-again, off-again relationship, if um, on the off-again moments... If you're really dating, you're going out having a good time and that's working for you and then the on again, off again person's like, well, why are you doing that? Like, you know that we're just going to get back together and like, are you doing this to hurt me? Then at this point in time, you just go, you know what, mother effer, like, let it go. I don't need your judgment. Like, if this was for me, if we were supposed to be in this relationship, we would be. You know, if this was right, it wouldn't be such a freaking struggle. And so I need to have my fun. I need to live my best life. And if you can't deal with that, then you just need to move the F on. Um, So you can either embrace it or you can let it go. You know, pushing it back on them. They say, like, this is about this month for you and those of you in undefined relationships. um, This is about putting yourself first. So um, have the best July. And I can't wait to see you in August. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!